The last two things that you need to ever learn to integrate, okay? Just last two, no more already. Then we are done with integration, you know? Serious, okay? And believe it or not, these last two uh, integration skills are a lot easier than your trigo. I, I, at least I think so, okay? So come pay attention. Uh, when we talk about differentiation of lawn, right? So we, we need to talk about differentiation of lawn first. So remember how we differentiate lawn? What was the formula that I taught you? What is... 1 over x. One more time, how do I differentiate ln of whatever? There's only one formula. T. No, we differentiate the whatever, we put it at the top. Over the non We dif Then we divide by the original. Okay, now. So, after we differentiate a ln function, it becomes a fraction function, right? This fraction is, by the way, what we call rational function, by the way. Rational means fraction, okay? But uh, don't bother. Uh, get the idea? Yeah. Now, pay attention, people. Now, what if I want to integrate now? No, think, uh, what is the reverse of this? The reverse of this would be this, right? If I want to integrate a fraction, like this, I will get back ln, right? Make sense? Because this is how we go and this is how we come back. Agree or not? Now, what kind of fraction is that? Oh, Mr. Tang, now I know I can integrate fraction. I'm very happy. You wish. But there's a special formula, a uh, special formula, special rule for this fraction. What is that rule? What's so special about this fraction? Can it be any fraction or not? No, for example, x over sine x cannot. Cannot. Must be the, 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 the differentiated and the original. Correct. There's some special rule governing this, right? The fraction is not any any random fraction. It has to be in such a way that the top, the top, which is the numerator, has to be the derivative of the denominator. In Singlish, it sounds like this. The top is the differentiate of the bottom. Understand? Right? So as long as the top is the differentiate of the bottom, you get log. Okay? So let me test you. Not difficult one, lah, believe me. Okay? Integrate 1 over x. What's the answer? Lon x. Yeah, lon x. Why? You do something. <laughs> because I differentiate lon x at 1 over x, what? Oh, okay lah, that also can. Okay? Now one more, some more, some more. Right. Right. How about? How about 2x? Lon 2x! What nonsense? Wait lah, I haven't finished. Okay, 2x plus 1. So this is a fraction? No, ln, ln x, what? x squared plus x plus 1. Ah, ln the denominator, right? Agree or not? So every time just copy the denominator. You wish. We got so easy. But pay attention first. Huh? The idea is this, right? The idea is that as long as the top is the derivative of the bottom, we get, we can integrate it. Agree or not? Yes. For example, what can we do? What can we do? We can't do this. We can't do this. Yo, I will we'll be probably stuck. Can we integrate this? How we know we can't? Because the top is not the thingy of the bottom. Yeah, the top is not the derivative of the bottom. Agree? Huh? So it's not every single fraction you can do that, no? So only a special kind of fraction. That's why I asked you, you know, do you know what kind of fraction? So, so very good, you are able to pick up what is the rule. The rule is that the top has to be the derivative of the bottom. But sometimes life is not so simple, right? So sometimes they give you these. Oh my gosh, my video just a set. This is really old. Life is not so simple, and that's why you have to use this. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for talking to us. And we're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the fact that you say that your teacher is really old. I don't know. Okay, anyway, so how about this? Pshh! Pay attention. Mr. Alvin, this means that you have the, the, the maturity of older than 26 years old. Stop it ah. <laughs> Okay How do we do this? Hey, the top is half of the Oh yeah, we have a problem now, right? Because when we differentiate the bottom, what do we get? 2x uh, plus 2 plus 2 Is it 2x plus 2 at the top? Nope no. <laughs> So what do we do? Times 2 But you notice that, hey, yeah, if I times 2 I solve my problem I get 2x plus 2, right? Times 2 over 2 But can you times 2? Nope. Like that? Very good. So times 2, you divide by 2 outside, okay, right? Understand? So what happened next? 
you have half, the half will remain. Now the top is the derivative of the bottom, it becomes ln, ln what? ln this. Yes. Understand? Uh? So sometimes you need to do a little bit of manipulation. Manipulation. <laughs> yes. Okay? Now you also found out that hey, after you learn this, right, suddenly you can integrate tangent. You see, so far we can integrate sine, we can integrate for sine, we can integrate tangent square, we can integrate what secant square, we can integrate sine square, cos square, right? But we never talk about integrate tangent. But now we can. Why? Why? Because because why? Called tangent is what again? Sine over cosine. Agree or not? So tangent is sine over cosine. Wonderful. And this is a fraction. Oh, you differentiate cos is sine. So I differentiate cos. I get sine. Negative. Wrong. Negative sine. I differentiate cos. I get negative sine. Is this a negative sine up here? Bring negative outside. Negative outside. Ah, now I solved my problem. So what's the answer? Uh, well, what do you think the answer is? Negative. Negative, long negative long will long remain. Long negative. Cos negative ln cosine x. Plus c. Plus c. Now sometimes you will see this differently. Yeah? Pay attention. It becomes ln secant x. Why? Think. Second below tangent on top. No, no, no. Think harder. They are the both correct. They are both correct. Wait, what? In other words, if you think about it, this is. I know, negative the same one of course. Uh, almost there. Um, it's equal to the. Come on. Why? But you notice something that's more striking, and that's the nine minus no more, right? The negative no more. So, what do you think happened to the negative? The negative bring up. Because it's a lawn after all, I can bring up the power, right? So when you bring it up, it becomes cosine power minus one. So it's one, one over cos. cos. One over cos is secret. Understand or don't understand? Very difficult or not? Not really. But if you answer this way, fine? Yes, absolutely fine. Unbelievable, yes. How about this? How about this? Now, cotangent, you can do it too. Come on, people. We try. Cos over sine. Very good. Cos over sine. Cos over sine. Okay, good. And what do you think it becomes? Ln sine x. Plus c. Fun or not? Fun. Difficult or not? It's not super difficult, but it's something that uh. Important, yes, because it suddenly opens a lot of options for you, right? You can do a lot of funny things suddenly. Okay? And of course, one of the applications that you have to learn is partial fractions. Okay? Because, because in times to come, uh, in fact, we're going to do this. Why not we do this now, okay? Uh, in times to come, which is what I want to do, right? It, let's say you want to integrate something like this. Now, you need to recognize that you can't integrate this. Okay, and you can't. Integrate. Why you can't integrate this? Because the denominator and the numerator is too different, right? There's no way to make the numerator the derivative of the bottom. By the way, uh, before I go on further with this, come on, pay attention. You need to understand this. Uh, sometimes some students tell me this, and it is quite disturbing. Oh, Mr. Ang, I know. I want to make the top to be the derivative of the bottom, right? So when I differentiate the bottom, what do I get? 2x. I know. I times 1 over 2x outside, I times the 2x to the top, and I get this. Then now this becomes integratable. I can do it? Mm -hmm. This is wrong. Why? You're not supposed to have an x outside. Very good, very observant. You cannot have a constant. A pui, pui. You cannot have a variable. <laughs> you can only multiply constant, divide by constant. Understand? Uh? You cannot multiply by x and then divide by x. Cannot do that. Uh? Okay, so this is no no, cannot be done this way. Okay, yeah. The other thing that you must you must get used to is this also, right? Sometimes, in fact, most of the time you're gonna see things like that. How are we gonna integrate this? Times five outside. Very good. No, times five on the inside times one fifth on the outside. Understand? Uh? So there's a one fifth and then there's a five, and that's how you. You can integrate this, which which becomes I, I one. Yeah, I don't know how to get the outside number. 
It's like what uh ayo, sorry. It's like what Man Wei says earlier on. You multiply by five to the top, multiply by five to the bottom. Oh okay. Then to the one to the bottom you take out. Okay. Yeah, that's all. Okay? Uh, because if you want to keep it at the bottom, also can lah, but it looks awful, right? It doesn't look like the form that you want anymore. So I think an easier way will be to think about it this way. I multiply and I divide. And I'm doing nonsense. It's just like 10 is equal to 9 plus uh, 1 plus 1 minus 1. This is, this is lame, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, so this is precisely what you are doing uh, in, a, in a way, right? Times something divided by something. Okay? Okay, so, so the other thing that I never show you is this kind, which is partial fractions. So I want you to do, because you know, we're going to do it with faith, right? So uh, it eventually, after you do your partial fractions, it's going to look like this. And it becomes like this. And you know what to do. Huh? Okay, cannot, cannot. Right, wonderful. So we shall do this now. I feel like I 